All right, now we are going to see how we can convert contraction to expansion. You might have seen this kind of the text a lot of the time in Twitter and the Facebook. So these are the contraction and these are the expansion. So contraction doesn't show the much of the information for the computer computers. So we need to convert this contraction form to expansion. Overall, I mean to say that we need to do a contraction to expansion. So this data I have taken from the Wikipedia. It has uh, around the 80 or 81. All right. So the total 81 contraction I have taken. So these are the most, uh, you know, the occasionally used contractions like he will, he would, and I am, I have, is not, I, it would. So all these, uh, you know, the contractions now will be expanded in its original form. All right. And this is really very important. Because when I say here x is equal to, all right, like this one, uh, let me put it into a double quote so that we can use here a single quote inside this one. Like this one, I am, all right, don't. So these are the contraction and we need to convert these contraction into expansion form. Because these, uh, instead of this contracted form, these things I am do do not and heal. So these are representing actually much more information than these the contracted words. All right, perfect. So we need to apply the dictionary uh, with a function on our Twitter data so that we can convert all these contracted into an expanded format. All right. So I'm gonna create here a function cont underscore to underscore exp that's the contraction to expansion thereafter if this type of x is str um, I'm showing you because let's say if you are not passing here this x in the form of the str then you can also check if this type is str all right Perfect. So if the type of string, then we need to do here for key in contractions. All right. If you remember the dictionary here. So this was the dictionary. Let me run it first. So this dictionary name is contractions. So I'm going to read the key from that contractions. All right. Thereafter, I'm going to get the values from this key the contractions and then there we have a key there we have x is equal to x dot replace all right so what i'm going to do here i'm going to replace the keys with its respective values for example if you have a key like was not then it will be replaced with was not all right so in a python native we have a replace and then in this replace we can put here the first text that's mean which i want to replace and then a replaced version of the text data so x dot replace i want to replace a key value to its value that's mean this key should be replaced with its values all right so this is how it is going to work thereafter i'm going to return after this for loop all right so I'm putting this return uh, uh, after this for loop. It is not inside the for loop. Thereafter, in the else statement where we do not have uh, uh, a string uh, str data, we are going to simply return the x. All right, perfect. Let's go ahead and do this contraction to expansion. And in that, I'm going to pass this x value. Uh, sorry, let me run it. And then I'm going to pass this x value there you see i am not do not and he will so this is what we had commented here it is converted so this is the best way to convert our you know the contraction form to its expanded version of the data all right now i'm gonna show you how you can write here um, how you can convert your twitter data in its expanded format so i'm gonna write here on the same column that's the tweets thereafter uh, I'm going to apply it on the tweets column. Thereafter, I'm going to use here apply. And then we have here 
the lambda version uh, sorry la lambda function actually apply then we have here a lambda x so this is the lambda function then we have here a cont to expansion then we have here x so this is the large all right so this is going to take a lot of the time in the processing thereafter uh, uh, this is going to take a lot of the time in the processing so I'm going to actually time it this is the magic command in Jupyter notebook so it is going to time it it's gonna take around a minute to complete its processing because there is a lot of things are going on here so on those 4000 all right so it is saying that it has took only the 150 millisecond all right that's perfect okay all right now let's go ahead and see some sample all right i mean some random roach and there we have got some random roach and i'm sure like here do not i'm sure this person uh, might not have written like do not it might have written like don't now it is converted into the do not all right and there we have missed here this won't all right so what we are going to do here we are also going to add that won't all right so if you find here won't because there is no algorithm to find out this contraction and then convert it into the expanded version so these are the something which you need to do a lexical uh, spelling replacement kind of the things so uh, this won't all right uh, let me see it is won't all right so this is won't all right so what I'm going to write here, I'm going to write here it would not, all right. And uh, similarly, there could be like uh, this and this is also, all right, this, all right. And thereafter, I think we had earlier so uh, earlier seen that back, all right. So this back is also actually a back. Sorry. So this is the back, and thereafter. We had also seen somewhere the BRNG, that's the bring back, all right. So that's, I'm also gonna convert it into a bring, all right. So these are the things which we can actually apply. Thereafter, we can run it. Uh, thereafter, we can run it. Now it's gonna take some time to complete its processing. All right, so there, now it is done. And it seems we have, uh, you know, so here we have the another sample although we do not have the same tweets but uh, we have expanded our the contracts and things all right perfect so this is all about in this lesson thanks a lot for watching it i'll see you in next lesson